big mistake I made with a zip-bound compound and terzepatide compound. And in the words of Pretty Woman, huge, big, ah! Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth, I'm Countess of Shopping. I have been on GLP-1 medication for the last, I don't know, 16 months, almost 17 months, losing 88 pounds. I was on Lanjaro 15 milligrams because of the Manjaro shortage, went on Zetbound 15 milligrams because of the Zetbound shortage. I've been forced now to move to the Zetbound compound, which is terzepatide. Same thing, Manjaro, Zepam, Terzepatide as the compound. My preference is to be on brand name, and once this shortage ends in 2025, per Eli Lilly, I will gratefully be switching back over to brand name, but for now, I've been rocking that with my compound. And I wanna share, I had my third compound shot this week. My biggest mistake, and hopefully you can learn from it, make sure you stay till the end because I do have what saved me. And also a hack that I learned that I wanted to share with you about during the shortage, if you're still on Zetbound um, Manjaro or if you're using the compound, a little hack that you might wanna think about too that I uh, just literally did today that hopefully will help you too. Okay, let's dive in. So I had, because many of you are on the compound and if you guys go back on my videos over the last, 250 videos on GLP-1 medications. When I first started many moons ago taking GLP-1 medication um, throughout my 88 pound weight loss, I poo-pooed compounds. I was not a, a compound fan. <laughs> I'm like, no man, Pam. But then the shortage kind of played my hand of, well, I'll just move from Manjaro to Zepbound. And y'all, I thought I was smart, clever, and crafty. No, the universe had other plans for me. <laughs> Um, because I couldn't get my zap bound anywhere. It has been over a month since I've been able to get any sort of prescription. And I simply don't have the time to call around to different pharmacies, which I've previously recommended in other videos. If you are still taking brand names, check out those videos in my playlist because you can see I have a lot of hacks of how to work to try to get the brand names. But we have a family member who has colon cancer and I simply just don't have the time to call pharmacies and spend literally 15 hours a week. That's how long it took me one week to try to get my Manjaro medication and then Zetbound medication. So what I have has been taking the compound. I've been using Join Fridays and you can use the discount code QUEEN. I'll link everything that I'm talking about down in the description box. Just click that dot, dot, dot more to get my compound. And they also prescribe my brand name to clarify they do both. And y'all had recommended, viewers recommended, Elizabeth, maybe you should think about splitting your compound. I'm on 75 units, which is equivalent to um, Manjaro 15 milligrams and Zepbound 15 milligrams. Split that in half. Um, talk to your healthcare provider. And again, all of this is not medical advice. Always talk to your own healthcare provider. This is simply has what has worked well for me. I will always punch you back to talk to your own healthcare provider. This is never medical advice. It scares me when people are like, oh, da -da -da. I'm like, no, that's for my body and my medical conditions. And I've approved it through my healthcare provider. So giving that blanket caveat first and foremost, y'all had recommended to me to split my compound. I'm on 75 units, which by the way, there's different levels of compound concentrations. So if you're on say Zetbound 7.5 milligrams and you're like, Elizabeth, you just said you were on Zetbound 15 milligrams. Why are we on the same units, 75 units? Because there's different levels of concentration. So don't freak out about that. I freaked out. Um, don't freak out about that. I had to call the compound pharmacy and I talked to Join Fridays, my healthcare provider. So once you guys had said the splitting the compound thing of say if your shot was on Monday, you would take half the units, which is 37.5 units. And that's half of 75. We can do math here. I had previously on a previous video said it was like 30 or something like that. No, 37.5, I promise I'm smart. Take that on Monday and then Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, take the second 37.5 unit shot. This is for compounds only. This is because they're in vials. You can't do that with pens. Um, I always follow Eli Lilly's in, uh, injection instructions for Manjaro and Zepbound. But for compounds, splitting those, because I'm injecting myself, I thought, wow, this you guys had said over and over, it helps with appetite suppression. And my biggest problem is it has not actually. The, my biggest mistake is I had, I, I obviously approved that through my healthcare provider. It took some time to talk back and forth with my healthcare provider. I wanted their blessing before I did any sort of changes. I was not doing that on my own accord, talking to my healthcare provider about it. They said, sure, do it. I did it, y'all. It was the biggest mistake. I have been so hungry. 
I've been hungry like a wolf. Hungry like a wolf. And so I have stopped that. I'm taking later today. That was on um, Monday, Tuesday. What's today? Today's Wednesday. So I'm taking the shot today, Wednesday, um, because I cannot take. Last night, I ate a whole bag of popcorn. Like, who is this woman? That is not me. That is not me. Um, I've been really like, that is not me. So that has been my biggest mistake. But let's go into our solution oriented here at Countess of Shopping. I have been working out like, and I've got solutions. So stay till the end. I've got several and with a shortage. I have been working out. And so is that part of this? Perhaps. Um, but one of the things that I've been really consistent on is taking my element electrolytes. You guys know I have, I bought them literally 16 months ago when I first started my weight loss journey here. Let me get a, a more up-to-date picture. Um, I bought element electrolytes because, and one of the reasons why I was so attracted to element electrolytes with my workouts and to help with my side effects with Manjaro side effects, Zepbound side effects, and now tears epitide side effects is the owner is Rob Wolf. He's the, co oh, excuse me, he's the element co-founder and he is a research biochemist. Like when I started going into his background, I was like, this is fascinating. Two times New York best selling, New York Times bestselling author and sat on the Navy SEAL resiliency committee for over a decade. She is not a Navy SEAL. <laughs> However, um, thinking with the end in mind, I have been working out a lot. You guys know I've been doing wall Pilates. I used to not be able to walk far and now I walk two to three miles per day. And y'all, I'm sweating. I'm sweating and I'm loving it. And so I've been using my element electrolytes also. And the reason why I originally bought them 16 months ago is because Navy SEAL teams, FBI snipers, Marines are using element. I was like, if it's good enough for the uh, FBI sniper teams and the Navy SEALs and professional athletes, um, U.S. Olympians, that is why I originally first bought my element electrolytes. Now I use them so much because they help with my side effects. And that was why I started 16 months ago and I still continue to use it because of that. But now I continue to use it is because it helps with my workout recovery. Literally, I just went for a two and a half mile walk. I was sweating buckets. It's really hot here in Virginia today. And it was so good. I ended up getting actually today one of my sparkling drinks. You can get these also, but my absolute favorite is the drink mixes. The sparkling drinks, by the way, are fire. Um, the electrolyte mixes, I love these because there's no sugar added, no dodgy ingredients. It's not like dyed colors. I give this to the Duke. The Duke literally had a playoff soccer game yesterday. I gave it to him. We use these hardcore. I mentioned my family member has colon cancer. Guess what I bought for that family member because they needed electrolytes element. Um, like it has been a saving grace for me as I go through this GLP-1 weight loss journey of losing 88 pounds so far on my 100 pound weight loss journey. And so I highly recommend them. I bought them before uh, I was even sponsored by them. I just love their stuff because it matters so much. And particularly this week with my hunger and appetite suppression challenges with my compound, I highly recommend getting um, Element Electrolytes. You can go, and they've been very gracious with the Countess of Shopping community. When you go to drinkelement.com forward slash queen, Q-U-E-E-N, they have six, no, excuse me, it's eight free packets with any order. Eight free packets with any order. I will also link this direct link um, down in the description link below. I particularly with hotter weather coming and with more workouts outside for us. Like we did yard work yesterday. Guess what? I made the count when he came back in from pulling weeds, <laughs> a whole nice, delicious bottle of element electrolytes. So I highly recommend. Um, and that has been helpful with this big mistake that I've been doing with my compound as well um, is making sure that I'm staying hydrated and making sure I have that magnesium, potassium, and sodium. The Many people are worried about sodium. We need sodium to obviously talk to your own doctor, but the potassium negates that sodium um, as well. And so that has been, there's research on Element Electrolytes um, website, which I'll, the one that I was just showing you that has, you guys know I'm a science nerd. <laughs> and so that has the science backing behind it too, which I absolutely love. Um, okay, let's keep going over to what saved me from this appetite bungle. I will not be doing that split compound thing again, needless to say. And I know so many of you, it has worked. I think for some people, the split compound has worked. I'm on the highest dose. And so I, I have questions for viewers. If you are on the highest dose and you split your compounds, will you tell me in the comments? I'm very curious um, if it's worked well for you. I would love to know. 
Um, I'm thinking the people who shared with me about the split compound component, a lot of people are on smaller doses of like Zepbound five milligrams, the equivalent for the terzeptide compound, Zepbound five milligrams, Zepbound 7.5 milligrams. Because I'm on the highest dose, I'm wondering for me, and again, I'm intentionally using my I statements, you always talk to your own healthcare provider, if the reason why this appetite suppression thing didn't work for me is because I had such a high volume and then halving it. And you guys had warned me of this. Viewers had warned me and said, you're having half the dose. It may not, like, you may not be getting that extra appetite suppression because we know half-life dose is five days. And so for me, like, most people on day six and day seven, I'm, like my appetite's back normally on Zepbound. It was on a Majaro and then Zepbound. And then now with the compound, that has been tried and true. So I erroneously thought by splitting these, like other people had suggested and other people have documented, they have been very successful with this. And I do want to make the point just because that didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work well for you, right? Like we got to do our own individual accounting here. This is our own individual accounting on it. Um, but what saved me is protein focus. But I've been shifting my protein a little bit. And as I've kind of learned more, we, as we know more, we do better. Or what's that saying? I'm totally butchering that. Totally butchering that saying. But as I learn more, I'm, I'm trying to do better. And so I have been focusing on lean protein specifically, such as shrimp, um, turkey, 99% lean, although the count just bought me last night, 93% lean, um, chicken, ground chicken or like chicken, chicken. I'm very weird about chicken, chicken, like very weird. So I'm trying to embrace it. I'm trying to embrace it. Fish has been my other lean protein focus. And then recently I've switched over to Atlas bars, protein bars. I really do like those too. Those are really good. Um, and the count likes them. And so does the Duke. But going to these lean protein sources, right? Like focusing on these four ounces of, for example, I'll just take the 99% um, lean turkey. And again, we want fats. I used to do keto. I understand the components of having fats, all on board with that. However, combating the fats, but with getting full, the satiety of having protein, for me right now, I'm very focused, of course, on having my healthy fats, but having that lean protein within my calorie range while I'm on this weight loss journey. Um, because many of you know, I have been in the past, I had that big whoosh of losing three pounds in one week. And then the past two weeks, I haven't lost weight. Part of it was, <laughs> part of it, I think was because last night I had a whole bag of popcorn because I was so hungry and it may be hormonal too. Ladies, if you know, you know, it may be a hormonal thing on there, um, partially, but really focusing on these lean proteins is what I'm choosing to do for the rest of this week. In addition to my workouts, in addition to my element electrolytes. Um, and keeping me full with those lean proteins, which I just had the count yesterday. It was so gracious to be like, babe, I'll go to the grocery store for you. What do you need? And so I got to pick out specific things. I also got some um, lean turkey sausage and I'm going to have that with some eggs. Like I'm trying different things and egg whites. I'm trying different things. I'm getting out of my comfort zone. And so that's one thing I want to encourage you to with, we have to on any sort of GLP-1 medication per Eli Lilly, not from my standpoint, but Eli Lilly tells us in our literature, we need to make physical activity changes and lifestyle changes, permanent lifestyle changes with physical activity and with basically with food, our eating habits. And so I am really trying to stretch and grow and change permanently lifestyle habits of moving into this healthy direction of fresh fruits and vegetables, fresh nutrient dense foods, healthy proteins, um, working out like absolutely for me, the, that's where my focus is. And that's what's saving me. I know that I know that I know that I'm going to get to that 100 pound weight loss. If you know me any inkling at all, you know, if I put my mind to something, I will do it. And so I will get there, but I am a slow loser. <laughs> I'm a loser, baby, but it's very slow for me. And that is okay. I'd rather actually it be slow than be crazy fast because that can lead to some crazy things. I'm scared of pancreatitis, appendicitis. I'm having, I already have loose skin, <laughs> but having like crazy loose skin from losing a ton, a ton, a ton of weight. So slow and steady for me wins the race. I'm committed. I'm focused. I'm not letting this get me down. That bag of popcorn, I'm going to slough off, take the mistake, and then take the, um, take the lesson without the scar for you, hopefully. That Alex Hermosi said that quote, by the way, that's not my quote. Um, but don't, and Alex Hermosi also says, and I was listening to my podcast this morning, don't get the same scar twice. So, right, I'm taking this lesson for myself of the protein component to make sure I don't get that same scar twice. 
really focusing in on that this week. Um, also, I had said to make sure you stay to learn more about the shortage update. For me, I can submit to have a refill at the three week mark. Are you doing that? Are you able to do that, right? Like with the shortage, when can you refill your, your prescription? For me on the compound, it's, it's after my third injection. So just FYI, um, I put in for my refill. <laughs> I rather, and I've said this before, I'd rather get a, because I am paying for the compound out of pocket. People have been asking me, by the way, Join Fridays does have an insurance concierge section uh, for health insurance for brand names. I don't know if that is applicable for compounds because my insurance does not cover anything. <laughs> it covers Wegovy, but I'm not on that because of the Wegovy shortage. So just FYI, I don't know when people are asking me, oh, does, is insurance covered for a compound? I don't know. You should, you can email Join Fridays, which their stuff is down in the description link below. Um, but having that refill on the third week, super, super helpful because then I'm not scrambling, right? Like if you wait till your fourth shot, then you don't have like, like plan ahead. Right. Um, and people have also asked me, do I think that there's going to be a compound shortage? I don't think so. Like I'm ahead of a lot of stuff that to me, it doesn't, if you guys have other information, tell me below, but I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. That's not in the deck of cards, baby. That's not in the deck of cards. Okay. So let's recap a little bit. Um, for me, always talking to my own healthcare provider about splitting for the compound. I know some people do stuff with brand names. I'm like, this pen, that is why there is a shortage, is because of the pen. I miss the pen. So much on a compound. Injecting myself with a needle needle has been a wild and wooly experience. It got better this week. But man, it's been wild and wooly. Um, <laughs> but I can't wait to go back. I cannot wait till 2025 when the shortage ends. Ooh, I cannot wait to go back on brand name. Um, but focusing on proteins is my other saving grace and then also making sure I'm ordering properly. And so I'll keep you posted if this changes having the second shot today at the 37.5 unit mark, if that changes how I'm feeling about my appetite. And again, this very well could be hormonal. Um, I'm going to look at my calendar. I don't think so though. I don't think it's hormonally based. I don't think it's near my cycle. I think it just was not a good idea for me. I'm glad I tried it though. I'm really, really glad I tried it because many of you guys had recommended that. And I was hoping because I'm at the highest possible tier, I've said this before, but I'm at the highest possible tier. Normally I would just titrate up to the next dose. There is no more for me to titrate up at. So I'm stuck. I'm stuck until like the next two or three years until Red A True Tide comes out or they release, um, they meaning Eli Lilly makes Zetbound like 7.5 milligrams. I don't know if that will happen. Many of you have said it, the higher doses are in clinical trials higher doses are in clinical trials. So fingers crossed. I do require, I mean, I have a GLP-1 deficiency and so I do require more GLP-1. <laughs> I think because I'm stuck, like I'm stuck and I still have, I've lost 88 pounds. I've lost 88 pounds, but I still have, I was looking at my BMI. I'm now officially not obese. I'm overweight. Well, yeah. This is overweight by the way. This is like, isn't that crazy? It's crazy to me. Um, I still technically have for my BMI to be in a healthy weight range. It's, I'm doing some quick math, 60 pounds, 50 to 60 pounds. Isn't that crazy for this? Now I got some thick thighs and I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Someone got very offended that I said I had thick thighs. I'm like, but baby, that's the way my, ba my body is. <laughs> it's me stating facts. They're thicker. I have always had thicker thighs cause it's muscle. There's some junk, some of the, I had said, I, I, I have a milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Not really, just the count, my hot husband that I've been with since I was 18 years old. So it just brings the count to the yard uh, with those thick thighs. But y'all, I'm so incredibly grateful. As always, I'm so incredibly grateful. A couple things. One, what is your accountability? Your accountability question for today is what are you doing today to move you closer to your health goals? Tell me in the comments below. Um, two, mine is I finally have my mammogram number that I'm calling for right after this, the count texted me. And so I'm going to make my mammogram. And you guys have been asking and continuing to follow up because I told you to hold me accountable. I finally have the number to be able to call. And then two, um, our emoji of the day is going to be sparkles or stars. Um, sparkles or stars. If you've made it this far in the video, I do emojis. One, because it helps for me to get to know you better because I truly do care. And then two, 
It also um, shows me that if you've watched this far, I want to be your friend. <laughs> like I actually, I want to know you. Um, and then it's an easy way for me also to pray over you. If you've made it this far, I do want to get to know you and I'll therefore pray over you. If you don't believe in prayer, no worries. Um, I'll, I'll send positive uh, thoughts your way and positive, positive vibes. So sweet friends, make sure you go down in the description link below if you want the direct hyperlink, but go to drinkelement.com forward slash queen. Uh, for me, very much helps with GLP-1 intestinal issues um, and side effects, but also in terms of workouts for that workout recovery with no junk added, no dyes, and get your eight free drink mixes with any drink mix purchased um, as well. They've been super, super generous about that too. So sweet friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessing because life is delicious. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.